ยังจองอีจองเนี่ยเจกตินิงจาชาดาพังยูทอนิงจตุกุยะเชงอเลสเฟสลาวนูนอกุยงเชียโอตอนทานิทาจอเปลีฮะเพียนตอตอเรมซ
Thank you so much for having me today. Um, I've, I'm fortunate enough to be the new county manager, as you indicated, um, since September 1st of this year. So it hasn't been very long, so I'm really excited to be able to talk to the Hmong community here through the show. Um, I, my family um, came to the United States. Um, I'm a first-generation immigrant. When I was five years old, uh, my sister and I and my parents, uh, we immigrated from Hong Kong. Uh, when I was five, when we came, um, I uh, watched my parents um, try to navigate a lot of systems, uh, receiving uh, public assistance, and um, myself um, entering into school and uh, taking uh, ESL classes, English as a second language. Uh, those experiences really have shaped um, my whole career, um, having um, watched um, my parents and my family uh, be able to receive services very similar to the other shows you've had around and around our service centers mm -hmm. and how people need the county to provide some of their basic needs. Mm -hmm. um, I've been fortunate enough to um, work in government for um, ever since really I was a teenager. Um, when I was about 15, I started my first job um, at a community center, and from there, um, worked in lots of different levels of government. Um, I've had the chance to work at um, city level of government um, when I was first an intern. Um, after that first job, I was fortunate enough to work in a city manager's office um, and be able to um, do projects where I got to see how a city was run. Um, and then throughout my career, I've had a chance to work at um, every level of government, um, a city, uh, our Met Council, at state, and even at the federal level. And um, it's been a, a real joy to be able to work at the county level of government because it's at the, the, at the really the perfect intersection of where residents feel um, the need, their needs get supported through the most practical ways that they feel it every day. Um, before becoming the county manager, um, my role was the workforce director for the county. And um, that experience has really shaped um, my long-term vision. Um, I know we'll maybe get to that in a little bit. But the ability to see people as um, a real critical asset for the investments that we need to make in our community um, really um, ha has shaped the way um, I see that our county needs to move in the future. ลูกดิพาร์ทเมนท์ที่เขาเหลือตอนนั้นว่าอะไรเหรอว่าเวิร์กฟอร์สนั่นน่ะเจ้าคนเดิมน่ะเจ้าเป็นกุศลเขาเ
feeling a real sense of responsibility to rec represent our communities. Um, Ramsey County being the most diverse community in the state of Minnesota and having had those lived experiences and being the only person of color county manager in the state of Minnesota is, I hold that responsibility and that privilege um, um, in a very special way. Yeah, they didn't know county manager nominee, uh, Lashia Ramsey, uh, and county manager nominee, they didn't know law. Wow, thank you so much for all of that. That was um, uh, very inspiring for me as I've read um, a little bit, but to hear you explain it, it resonates with me a lot. Um, I think we've had a lot of parallel in our experiences because I do a lot of my work because of what my parents' experiences were too. So thank you so much for sharing that. Um, I would love to be able to chat a little bit about like just some of the functional uh, responsibilities of a county manager. I think our audience, it would help uh, kind of understand um, really what that role looks like. And so um, if you could go over that, that would be wonderful. Uh, um, so before I can talk about the role of the county manager, I think it's important to understand the county board of commissioners. Um, the county is run by seven elected officials who are elected by the residents who then hire the county manager. อ่าเจ้าคอนนี่คอมมิชชั่นเนอร์มายาจันทร์ทั้งวันอาจีเนี่ยสิเป็นสังคมเชลล์ป้อมบากันแต่ช่วยดูแลตัวไอ้เจ
Um, Ramsey County is unique in that we are the most diverse county in the state. Um, really, our vision needs to center around making sure our residents, the people, have what they need to thrive. Yeah, Ramsey County, look up here, the Yin Yoro Bay, and it's a big thing. อ่าตานทอดโซเลนโซตูอ่าเป้เตเลนูนะจะเป้ยิงชัวเตอร์ฮอเปรูเจลูจอเตเป้มันจะเป็นสังชาเลยเลยอ่าจงดีใจยังไ
and then there's the layer of programs that I think have been featured on the show around, you know, some of our basic needs through our service centers. You know, we provide those things that we reflected on as our as young children when we were our immigrant families needing basic financial assistance, you know, food assistance, um, mental health services, uh, making sure, you know, different populations get what they need like veterans. เอ่อจะทอกคนละมูนละญาติญาติต่อไปจะเซอร์วิสเซอร์ซิลิเปมอเกปาโตวาไฟเนี่ยเซียนเนี่ยมอนอนเนี่ยจัวละมอโตวา
Um, 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 another layer of um, charges is about a third of our budget. Um, our budget is $800 million every year. We have run a two-year biennial budget, which means we pass a budget every two years. But um, that's that um, third part of the budget comes from um, what's called intergovernmental revenues. And I had talked about how I worked at many different levels of government. So that's intergovernmental revenues is really the pass-through funds of federal and state dollars that come to counties so that we can do the work. So for example, when people pay federal or state taxes, mm-hmm. some of that money gets funneled down to counties to uh, do the programs at a county level. Mm-hmm. And then the biggest part of our budget um, comes from what's called property tax levy. And so that is uh, assessed to properties um, as part of our budget process um, based on the value of your home as homeowners. And um, when people get a property tax bill from us, they not only see the property tax that we take off um, um, from their assessment, that's called when they determine the amount of property tax they will pay, other levels of government like school district and city also Mm -hmm. um, put their tax through that property tax uh, statement as well. Yeah, and I think um, another aspect to all of this, and thank you again for um, sharing all of that, um, is sometimes the community wonders, like, do they have a voice in this? Do they get a choice in how mm-hmm. some of the budgets are being dispersed biann- biannually? Mm-hmm. Um, and so I, I know that um, one one aspect that we can maybe chat about today is, is the meetings that mm-hmm. we have mm-hmm. so that the community can come mm-hmm. together and maybe offer mm-hmm. feedback or provide some of, of mm-hmm. um, what their opinions are and, mm-hmm. and voice that as well. And so, mm-hmm. uh, she showed Developing such a big budget takes many months. Um, there are many uh, points along the way that we engage both our staff our county commissioners and the public um, during that process. Okay. Okay. So we're nearing the end of um, some of those touch points, but um, some of the key ones um, were back in uh, September. Um, The county board um, has a public hearing. A public hearing means that it's a chance for citizens, residents to come and offer um, their comments to our elected officials about the budget. Um, at that, um, shortly after that presentation, they approve what's called the maximum levy, which is the most that they could charge. And then I can talk about some next steps after that. Mm-hmm. So yesterday, um, our taxpayers, our residents uh, who own homes, um, were mailed our what's their um, preliminary property tax notices. So they should be um, residents should be receiving that um, in the next few days. Um, that gives an estimate of what your property tax will be. Um, we're going to have a meeting in, um, on, in on December 11th 
that allows people to come and give comment to that. Okay. I believe you have some of this information on, on your screen, but on December 11th at 6 o'clock, we'll be at the Halley Q. Brown Community Center, which is in St. Paul. Um, there we will have interpreters um, for people who wish to engage in Spanish, Hmong, Somali, Oromo, or Kryn. Um, we also will have sign language, American Sign Language there as well. Um, community can also send their feedback via email or calling um, the county. And so that's one very critical way that residents can engage in the budget process. สลิดทะลุกอลิเนอร์ที่ก็อีวันเนาะเป็นเนาะเป็นลูกคอมมิชชั่นเนอร์แท้เอ่อเอ่อกูอยากให้ตัวนายเฮาเนี่ยเป็
Um, another thing would be also we oftentimes have community members that participate in um, reviewing proposals for um, potential vendors for us and also serving on interview panels for staff. เอ่อจอยคอมมิชชั่นเนอร์ชีเอ่อจอยนายเทนะยะเอ่อว่าเรื่องนั้นแล้วเจ้าคณะเราเนี่ยขี้เกียจเราในตัวเอ่อป้า
Zhejiang Ramsey County, Guya Sheng Elizabeth Lau, which on the only Jantaka Lokong Pet here and Topic Ta. You know, good to watch you sing a day, your county manager, Ling Bakker, uh, Jinta Penaje to interpreter, uh, Thomas Duya. Um, so in this, uh, just to wrap up the rest of the show, I think it's important to spend a little bit more time about the um, upcoming uh, biennial budget and the public hearing. We talked already about, about that. Um, uh, but I would like to maybe just revisit again, what is a public meeting all about? So, mm-hmm. Yeah, so just to recap, um, the public hearing is a part of uh, several steps of our biennial budget process. A uh, biennial budget is a two-year budget, which the county adopts every year. Okay, public hearing so the public hearing um, will take place on December 11th at Halley Q Brown Community Center. That's located at 270 North Kent Street in St. Paul. The doors open at 5.30 with the public hearing starting at 6 p.m. Uh, we have interpreters for a variety of languages that evening. And it is at that meeting that residents can express their opinion about their property tax levy. Um, The property tax levy is the amount of uh, funding that the county needs in order to run our services. And um, for our county, uh, that represents, as I said earlier, um, our biggest portion of our budget, which is 46%. Um, and to recap again, um, homeowners in Ramsey County um, should receive a proposed property tax uh, estimate um, any time in the next few days. Uh, those first lines of uh, your levy um, that's listed is your property tax levy from Ramsey County. And in that document also lists the public hearing uh, date and time and location as well. And at that meeting, residents will um, get a few minutes to express their opinions about their property tax levy. There will also be people there to help you read your property tax statement and answer any questions you might have as well. Um, in addition, um, we'll have some of our basic services, some resources there as well that evening. So hope people will try to come. Um, our seven commissioners who are elected by the residents will be there to listen um, um, after that um, public hearing um, on December 17th they will vote on the final property tax levy that um, will be charged to residents. Um, If you can attend, um, for some reason, there's a couple other ways to share your um, opinions. Um, They can be um, emailed to us at chiefclerk at ramseycounty.us. 
Chief Clerk at Ramsey County US And if residents want to um, see the whole budget, um, that's available as well. Um, our 2025 uh, proposed budget can be found on the county's website. It's uh, RamseyCounty.us uh, forward slash budget. เจ้าไปในเซเซอร์เบสซังเรนซี่คาวนี่ยันเฮาซัพพอร์ตตันทอไปปังเนี่ยแต่เนาะเรารู้ข่าวนี้ในช่วงเวลาตอนเด่นเ
ยอนนี่จอนตัดต่อใช้เปอ่าเปก็เซอร์วิสเซ็นเตอร์สตอนนี้ก็ตัวจีอ่อตัวตัวยีจีส่วนส่วนยอนนี่ในเหนี่ย